What's going on out there, everyone? It's me, The Great Heisman, here doing my pre for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup final for this Sunday because my USA team is going to be taking on the Netherlands. And boy, what a World Cup this has been, man. I told everybody that the, Nether that the Netherlands can go far, and look what happened. I predicted they could go to the final in a couple of my vids back. I said that it would be great to have a USA versus Netherlands matchup, and we're going to have one this <coughs> this Sunday. So, hey, just goes to show you that I got my predictions right. But, anyways, uh, I'm going to do a little preview. Why is the, uh, sorry, sorry about the lighting. I'm going to put my camera over here. The lighting is so, is pretty bright. Don't want to blind you guys. All right. So, yeah, um, it's going to be my USA team looking to defend its crown at the Women's World Cup and see if we can bring home the trophy for the fourth time in, in women's soccer history. Because we hold a record for winning the most Women's World Cups with three. But, uh, hey, anything can happen this Sunday, man. This is not going to be an easy game. Hopefully, Megan Rapinoe plays because she's going to be the biggest uh, difference maker, in my opinion, for us this Sunday. Simple because she is, without a doubt, she can really lead our midfield and she can create a bunch of chances for us. And that's why we're going to have to hope that Megan Rapinoe is going to be in our starting lineup. However, uh... The Netherlands, they had an unbelievable tournament. They uh, they just freaking, did anybody ever, did anyone give the Netherlands a chance to go to the final? Because I don't know about you guys, but I don't think anybody gave the Netherlands a chance. Everyone was saying it's going to be France, Germany in the final, or um, or who else? Yeah, those were, the, uh, those were the teams that everybody was saying was going to be. And look what happened, man. Netherlands, they proved everyone wrong and they made it all the way. So, hey, you got to respect them for what they were able to do, making it to the final for the first time ever in their women's uh, football team's history. It is an incredible feature. But, uh, you know, anything can happen. The reason why I'm saying this is because upsets can happen. Just look at what happened in 2011. Uh, I think the USA, we were the favorites to win the Women's World Cup, and we lost to Japan on penalties. And we won it four years later against the same team we made up for us losing. So we're gonna we're in a third straight World Cup final. Feels good, man. Uh, I think that's a new record. And we're going to be looking forward to we're going to be looking forward to see if we can be back to back double World Cup champions. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be Alex Morgan versus uh, Leaky Martins, two best players at the tournament. And uh, it's going to be our goalkeeper versus the Netherlands goalkeeper. Both our goalkeeper, both the USA uh, women's goalkeeper and the Netherlands keeper, they both played well. Our goalkeeper made a clutch save against um, against England. To, to book us a spot in the World Cup final, but still, the reason why I'm kind of uh, I'm not uh, I'm kind of uh, saying that anything can happen is because in sports you gotta look at the fact that upsets can't happen just uh, and big surprises can't happen. That's the way how sports are. Just look at the 2016 NBA Finals. The Cavaliers came back from 3-1 deficit and they beat the Warriors to win their first ever NBA title. And then that year the Cubs they came back down from being down three to one. To win the World Series for the for the first time in 100 years, and then you got the next year got the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. I mean, nobody. I don't think anybody gave the Eagles a chance to go to the Super Bowl when Carson Wentz went down. Look what happened. Eagles went to the Super Bowl and they won. So yeah, it just goes to show you that anything can happen, and why I'm not gonna. Take our opponent lightly. We got to go in this game with a winning mentality and just uh, make no mistakes. Let's see if we can minimize the mistakes and just play well. Because I feel like in the Spain game, we struggled a lot. If it wasn't for those penalties, we could have lost against Spain because Spain were playing very well defensively against my USA team. And the only reason why we even uh, won that game was because of the two penalties. Yes, I'm aware of that. So uh, if the Netherlands can just copy what Spain did and just play defensively, then this could... Uh, be a bit difficult for our USA women's team, but in the end, if we can just, uh, I feel like that if we just uh, do the through balls and the crosses, because that's what we've been really good on lately, then we have a good chance of winning the whole thing, because our squad has world-class players from the defense to the midfielders to the um, goalkeeper. Well, yeah, our goalkeeper, I think, is already showing signs of being a world-class keeper. Alyssa Nair, she was uh, the backup to Hope Solo. She was part of our 2015 Women's Winning Cup, Women's World Cup winning squad. But she's been doing a solid job as a replacement for Hope Solo. 
and I'm super glad to see we finally got a great uh, keeper in her because her penalty save without a doubt was the biggest difference maker so far in the eliminations because that helped us advance and continue our title defense so yeah man uh wow looking forward to this hopefully it's going to be a good game hopefully there's not going to be any any uh, fouls or any uh any controversial stuff i just want to have a great final and that's what it is but we really got to get we really got to get it together and hopefully um megan rapino is going to be uh healthy for the game and got nothing much else to say about the game except that uh as soon as this women's world cup is over it's going to be back to uh back to back to watching uh Bayern munich because they're going to be playing next week or in two weeks for the uh, icc i think or whatever it is the exhibition is starting and then we got nfl season so anyways guys that's pretty much it uh let me know how you guys think this game is going to go down and as always let's go usa let's get that w and i'll talk to you guys later have a good one y'all